Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about InfiTQ 2022 question on strings. We will uh, explain you the question and the, for this question, InfiTQ has given 20 minutes time to write the code. So our suggestion is uh, take it as a practice question and try to solve it, uh, try to write the code and execute it in 20 minutes. If you are unable to write the code in 20 minutes, uh, means you are not having good practice on basics. Whatever the examples which we discussed in our placement training program, uh, those examples are enough to write the code for this question. If you, if you are having good practice, it's very, very easy to write the code for this question. Okay, so let's read out the question. So consider a non-empty string INSTR containing alphabets. So they are saying that there is a non-empty string INSTR. It's named it as INSTR in string containing alphabets, digits, special characters and spaces. So the input consists of all these things. Identify and print out string OUTSTR based on the logic given below. So this question, we are placing this question in our website also. Please visit our website learningmonkey.in for placement training and uh, there we are going, we are having a separate course called placement training for service based. Take the complete course for easily solving the placement bits. Not only this, you can solve any campus placement questions. That is how the placement course is designed. So identify and print out string based on the logic given below. So what's the logic says is substitute each alphabet in INSTR with the alphabet that occur in the same position in the reverse alphabet order. What's the saying is, so if you see A, alphabet A in your input string, you have to place with Z, A, Z, last one, B, Y, in the reverse order you have to place. That is the fact, such that every fifth substitution is with an uppercase alphabet. If you see five alphabets, the fifth alphabet should be uppercase letter. That is how you have to convert. This is the condition they have mentioned on alphabets. The same way they have mentioned some conditions on digits also. Substitute each digit with the below symbol in a sequence such that first digit occurring from left. So they have given four symbols underscore hash at the rate percentage. Substitute each digit with the below symbol. You have to substitute. If you find digit in your input string, you have to replace with the first digit with underscore, second digit with hash, third digit with at the rate, fourth digit with percentage. That is how you have to replace. And they have mentioned one more condition. If there are more than four digits in your input string, the fifth digit has to be replaced with underscore again. The sixth digit has to be replaced with hash again. That is how you have to replace four digits. The symbol should be reused in the same sequence. Again, reuse the symbols. So the third condition is keeping all other characters as is assign the updated in string to out string. They will give some input string. You have to convert it into out string following these conditions, three conditions. And they have mentioned alphabetical order is A, B, C up to Z. Reverse alphabetical order is A, Z, Y, X, so on, C, B, A. That is reverse alphabetical order. They have given sample input uh, uh, output string. So this is the input output string 2, 2, 7, B. This is the input string. This is converted into this output. So first two is placed with uh, underscore. Second two is placed with hash. Third seven is placed with at the rate. B is placed with Y. B means alphabet Y has to be placed, reverse order has to be placed, space is mentioned as it is, capital B has been given the input and this is placed as Y. Every fifth character is placed with a capital letter. Every fifth one is placed, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth one, V is placed with a capital. Like that same way, next fifth one is placed with a capital. Next fifth one character is placed with capital. Remaining characters, keep it as it is. Spaces and whatever you see, those are as it is. Fifth digit is again replaced with underscoring. See here, three digits, fourth digit, fifth digit, again replaced with underscore. That is how you have to repeat. 
so we will give some hint how to write the code for this reading the string step by step we, we discussed how to read the strings step by step and modify the strings that required all those things in python we already discussed in our basic uh, basic uh, examples uh, read the string step by step character by character uh, you are having some functions checking for alphabets and digits use those functions if you find it as a digit uh, so you have to replace with the underscore uh, so after four digits, uh, if you find four digits, means you have to maintain count here. In order to identify, if you find a digit, increase the count. The same way you have to maintain two counts, one for digits, one for characters, alphabets. Why we need to maintain? Because every fifth character should be uppercase. Every uh, After completion of four digits, again you have to repeat. Uh, if you want to repeat the characters, use modulus operator. We have done examples on modulus operator, you know, C programming and Python. So that basic examples which we have discussed will help you easily. You can write the code for this program. Why we are giving it as a practice means maybe next year you may not get the same question. But you will get a similar type of question. You need that practice. That's why take it as a practice. Solve it in 20 minutes. If you have any questions and we will provide the code. So this is the code for that. Our suggestion is don't watch the code. Try to solve it on your own. Then check for this coding also. Coding. Uh, no, you, you may not need to follow the same, co same coding. Uh, you can follow your own logic. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post, to, post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and take our complete campus placement training program. If you want to easily crack any campus placement exam, not only in FITQ, you can crack any campus placement exam. That is how the course is designed. From the basics to the coding level, everything goes step by step. Simple logics to slowly moving towards the complex ones. Thanks for watching. If you ha haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.